Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to talk about the 30, 60, 90 degree uh, special right triangle. So to start our discussion, let's uh, begin with an equilateral triangle where an altitude is drawn. Uh, so the visual will look like this. Remember, an equilateral triangle has all three sides equal and all three angles equal. And if we draw an altitude such as this one here, then this altitude, by definition, will be perpendicular to this bottom um, side of the equilateral triangle. It will be perpendicular, so we have a 90 degree there and a 90 degree there, right? Um, and it will divide this uh, bottom side of this equilateral triangle into two equal halves. Um, so then uh, let's label the triangle reflecting uh, what we just said, which is if the side there is of length 2x, then the side on the left will also be of length uh, 2x. And um, the bottom, uh, or the third side, will have to also be of length 2x. And let's appropriately label x on the right half of that bottom third side, and then x on the left half. So that way we still have 2x and we still have an equilateral um, triangle. Now, notice that an altitude drawn in an equilateral triangle divides the equilateral triangle into two congruent 30, 60, 90 degree um, right triangles, one on the left here and then another one on the right here. And let's label the altitude uh, with the letter H for height. Um, then, if we just concern ourselves with this 30, 60, 90 degree triangle on the right half of the equilateral triangle we started off with, then um, by the Pythagorean theorem, we can write the following statement, which is that x squared, uh, this leg squared, plus this other leg um, squared, that is h squared, um, so x squared plus h squared, will have to equal uh, the hypotenuse here, which is 2x all squared. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, um, we know that 2x times 2x is 4x squared, so we can write that the right-hand side of um, this equation is just going to turn into 4x squared. Now, from this last equation, if we subtract x squared from both sides, then we'd have this simpler equation. And since what we're after is uh, figuring out what h will be in terms of x, all we have left to do is in this last equation we displayed, um, take the square root on both sides. And when we do, the square root of h squared is just h, and the right side, which I've chosen uh, to write on the left here, will be the square root of 3x squared. And then by simplifying using square root rules, we know that the square root of 3x squared is the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared, so it's equal to x times the square root of 3. And so that's what h will be in terms of x. And this um, visual, our last item will show how to summarize everything we said, which is if we've got a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, whenever the side opposite the 30 uh, has value x, then the side opposite the 60 will have value x times root 3, and the hypotenuse will be of value 2x. Yeah? All right, cool. Um, my next video will concern the 15, 75, 90 degree special right triangle, so check that out. Uh, keep watching. And of course, as I said in the 45, 45, 90 degree uh, video, uh, there'll be examples of each type. Yeah? Okay, cool. Take care.